Hot and cold weather. We all know how these extremes can take a toll on the human body. But what about your precious feline? During those hot sunny days, and also those days where snow is in the forecast, how are cats, most notably felines that reside in the great outdoors, how are they able to take care of themselves, to navigate life in a natural way, and fend off the elements? In this material, I'll talk about how cats regulate their body temperature and what they can do to beat the heat and keep warm during the cold weather months. I've got you covered. Stay tuned. Let's first begin with the hot weather, that pressure cooker known as summer. When those temperatures are bumping up to almost 100 degrees Fahrenheit, what are cats supposed to do? What can they do? One of the primary ways that cats regulate body temperature is through sweat. We sweat and so do cats. In fact, cats have a pretty cool, no pun intended, cooling system. Felines have sweat glands along various points of the body, the lips, the chin, the paws, and the backside. When the elements get a bit too toasty, cats like people will begin to sweat. When felines sweat, it leads to natural cooling as the sweat slowly evaporates on the skin. In addition to sweating, cats can also regulate their body temperature and conquer the heat in the form of grooming. Cats love to lick, and the saliva that is produced, once applied to the paws and then applied to the rest of the body, can help a cat cool down. And the last natural way that cats stay cool during the summer well, it involves one of the hallmarks of all felines, and that's sleep. Whenever possible, cats will stay out of the action if the environment becomes just a bit too hot to handle. Cats can cool down quite considerably if they can locate a nice place in the shade and just nap the afternoon away. Before we transition to the warming side of life, let's talk about panting. While the other reasons I noted are indeed very much natural in how cats recover, during the heat of the day, panting is an indicator of a major issue as in all the other measures have likely failed due to the extreme heat. Panting is not normal. Felines in this level of distress, unless properly cared for as soon as possible, can potentially fall victim to heat stroke. And keep in mind, just to reiterate, this topic is dedicated to natural, keyword meaning natural, body temperature regulation, not through the aid of human support. That is why something as simple as bring the cat indoors or provide the cat with cool water was not included in this section. When it comes to conserving heat or building the heat on those cold days and cold nights, at the foundation, it all starts with that fur. And obviously, the longer the fur, the better. I mean, if you had on a fur coat that you just couldn't remove, it's best to have it during those cold months compared to those blistering days in the sun. Fur. That's one way that cats retain heat and stay warm. It's through their very own coat. Additionally, in this piggybacks on the fur, the ability to make use of tight locations Cats love the small spots. They don't need a lot of room to be content, and when staying warm is the goal, the ability to find a nice, safe, and tightly sheltered location is the objective. And what about body posture, body positioning? Just like cats love those small locations, felines love to curl up and make themselves physically as small as possible. In an effort to get warm and stay warm, the tighter the curl, the better. And what about this one, making use of other finds, let's call them? as in random blankets and boxes, perhaps a plastic or rubber container outside. Similar to random locations, cats often enjoy manipulating objects to play in their favor. Is there an old blanket outside, perhaps on your patio? If there's a cat roaming around in the elements, that blanket will likely be put to good use once that feline arrives on the scene. And the final warming example that I'll note here today in this video, another way that cats can regulate their body temperature is through mealtime. If a cat is living off the land during those cold winter months, food will begin to take on more importance and in many ways serve new purposes. Warm prey, warm body. It's the same reason that people enjoy hot meals on a cold night. A cat has to do what a cat has to do and being able to eat in abundance in the face of the winter chill is very important. Food is certainly a key way that cats regulate body temperature during those cold weather months and that cold weather season. So as you can see, quite naturally, without our direct help, cats have all the tools to take care of themselves during the heat of the day and the cold chill of the season. Cats are also quite crafty, so what their body is unable to provide, they tend to know where to go and what to do in order to make it through the rough elements. 
I know I've personally seen some cats using winter time as an example, make it through some single digit temperatures when I didn't know how they would make it at all. I didn't think they stood a chance. I can recall taking a cat, a neighborhood cat, trying to take him back to his owner, but they were away, and that cat somehow was able to seek refuge at another home. A back porch, to be exact, he curled up in a warm spot and he made it through some rather brutal conditions. The cat came out of it smelling like a rose, not a problem at all. When the tough times come, those rough elements, cats will often find a way, that is for sure. To the audience of Senior Cat Wellness, this is where I'll depart a bit from the topic at hand and ask you a few critical questions, and certainly fitting questions in relation to this subject matter. Whether we're talking about your very own cats or perhaps felines in your neighborhood that you look after and care for, when that winter chill arrives and when the sun is beating down during the summer, what measures do you personally take in an effort to make sure the cats are happy and, most importantly, healthy? Outside of standard food, water, and proper shelter, is there anything a bit unorthodox? I know I've got a few of those uh, storage containers, big storage containers, and I sort of mentioned that a bit earlier. The rubber containers with the lids, I've cut holes in the sides of those containers over the years and used those or provided those as housing options for a few neighborhood cats, most notably during the harsh cold weather months. Do you do something similar? Your stories, general commentary, anything and everything in between. Comment section, as always, it's all yours. And if you enjoyed this content, please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you as a member of the Senior Cat Wellness family. And until next time, thank you so very much for watching, and I will talk to you later.